what's up guys now we're going to unbox the NZXT Kraken X62 280 millimeter liquid cooler yeah so right out of the box still fresh and sealed so let's see at the specs first so the CPU socket support is for Intel LGA 1151, 1150, 1155, 1156, 1313 66, 2011, 2011 3, and 2066 CPUs. That is for the CPU socket. For Core i9, i7, i5, Core i5, and Pentium, Celeron. Now for AMD, we have AM4, FM2, FM2, FM1, AM3, AM3, AM2, AM2 CPUs. So that is for Ryzen, FX, Athlon X4, Athlon X2, A-series APU, Phenom, Phenom I, Athlon, Ath or Phenom 1, <laughs> Athlon 2, and Semprons. So this is a 30, 315 by 144 by 30 millimeters, length with height. The material is made out of aluminum. And for the fan, it has silent performance custom and manual, pump control, silent performance manual, custom LEDs, so fixed breathing, fadings, full wave, all RGB. And all of those are being controlled by the CAM software from their website. And the pump and water block is 80 by 80 by 52.9 millimeters. So the copper block, is, or it has a copper block on the pump and you can adjust the pump speed within the cam software as well and the tubes are 400 millimeters in length and the material is ultra low evaporation rubber with nylon braided sleeve so it's braided so you can see I'll show you later and here it says it is way cooler than the Intel stock cooler for 63 degrees to 89 degrees so good and at the back so the one that i all told you from the specs on the side so this is what the kraken x62 looks like from inside your build and yeah and this is how the cam software will work once you downloaded it and installed it onto your computer and remember guys this one won't work or this one will work but it will work best when you download the cam software now let's try to unbox this thing let's just start so we're going to start making a cut over here and then ripping it off yeah. all fresh put the track inside there we have it. Now, we have to pull the lead, the tab, open it. It says, build the ex extraordinary. And I don't know how to read all of those stuff. <laughs> yeah, I understand PC. And that's it. So right out of the box, we see the instruction manual. Yeah, so we have the Kraken unit, the brackets for Intel, the bracket for AMD, the back bracket for Intel, and the standoffs that you're going to use, the thumb nut, the washers, the fans, and the power cable set, and a mini USB cable for the cam software. And yeah, this is the instruction. So. Let's open the egg crate. There we go. And mark there. So from the box, we have two PWM fans from NZXT. There we go. And this is a fluid dynamic bearing, so it keeps lubricated even in the long time self-lubricating bearings. And it has four pins. So that's why we call it PWM because you can control the speeds 
inside the cam software or from your BIOS so you can change the speeds of the fan to make it silent or do in performance mode but it will be a little bit louder and there we go so we got two of them side and this is the cables that we will use so let's try to open them up we have this one is for the mini USB is going to connect here into the pump and this one is going to take up one USB USB header on your motherboard and this one is for your external power for the RGB and for the fans for them to have power and this one will connect into a SATA port from your power supply so keep that in mind and uh, the brackets and all the goodies the screws and we have the AMD bracket and the Intel bracket or the backplate so yeah usually you won't see the Intel bracket here because it's already installed to the pump now moving on to the pump and the radiator when you take this out just be careful to get the pump out first to avoid pushing the fins from the fans or from the radiator and put it from the top put this one aside and let's see the pump first so Remove the plastic. So, from unboxing it or remove the plastic, we can see the pump is pre applied with thermal paste already, so you don't need to put more thermal paste on your CPU. But if you want to use your own thermal paste, like high performance thermal paste or any other brands that you want to use, you can just get a coffee filter or a very good tissue paper and put some alcohol and then wipe it all off until it's all clean and all shiny copper so yeah I'll show you what it looks like there you go so it's a copper block so you'll know that it's good for heat transfer and I'll just put it back on so I don't touch the thermal paste There we go. And now, this is the face part of the pump. So this one will have a RGB lighting with, on it. It will look like this. Once you turn it on, when you power it on. And it will have an infinite, like what we call the infinity mirror. Because you'll see when we power it on, there's like an infinity effect to it. And yeah. You have to remove this connect all to or connect all cables before turning it on. So on the pump, this one is for the fan command and the fan pump speeds. This will be connected to this wire and this one will be on your SATA, SATA port like I told you, SATA cable. And then this one is going to go in here for the software on cam that will take up a 2.0 header from your motherboard. So that's the pump part. So I'm not going to go into the tech specs about it, because yeah, you can you can find it on Google and stuff. I'm just doing the unboxing for you. And now moving on to the to the cable or to the tubes. So you can see that this one is braided, and it's very very strong and flexible. You can see. So, and this one is, has a swivel on the side, so you can move it when you're building. If you want to do it like this, if you want to do it like this, and like this, totally up to you. Now moving on to the radiator. Now this one is a 280 millimeter radiator. And so you see the NZXT logo over here. It's quite light, not that heavy, so you'll know that you got an aluminum fence. Usually the copper radiators are heavier than aluminum, but this one will still do the job right. 
There we go. So if you can see, it's shining through it, see white, so that's aluminum. But if you see a bronze or like a copperish, like orangey, then that's, you know, it's copper. So there we have it. Full unboxed NZXT and waiting for installation. So yeah. Thank you again guys for watching these videos and see you again next time for the next one. Peace. Okay guys, so this is it. The NZXT after build and installation and about the cam software. So I will show you the cam software right here. So right now we are rendering a video that we took for our NZXT X62 build and now we are running on a 99% load on a 4.6 gigahertz 1.35 volts overclock on the cam software if you as you can see right here and we are steady on 68 67 degrees Celsius and I'm sorry if I forgot to take the idle temperature but it sits on 40 40 degrees 41 degrees Celsius on an ambient temperature of around 29 degrees Celsius here because we are in Asia but it runs totally very very good on 4.6 1.35 volts and this is steady guys it's just on 68 the highest temperature that, that I got was 69 70 but never way past that and yeah, so I'm showing you the actual speeds, not on IDA64, but still, this is still on the rendering side. We have been running it for, I don't know, a couple of minutes now. So, yeah. Here we are. And, uh, please, if you enjoy our videos, don't forget to like, subscribe, leave a comment down below. The description on this product is down below and uh, yeah guys see you again next time so don't forget again all your subscription your views are well appreciated peace out